Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to discuss about the 9 Mac from 2007 which has 3GB of RAM. It has literally the original processor which is an Intel Core Duo 2.4 GHz. But the original hard drive was 512 GB and it is still usable in today's standards. Which I'm not gonna lie but it's more usable than I thought it would be. So because I want to take the best performance from this Mac I'm going to use my phone to record the screen of the Mac and I'm going to use a DJI MIMO 4 which is a, uh, a stabilizer for the phone so you can literally get the best quality and no movement so what can you do with this uh, with this iMac so the first of all you can listen to Spotify Spotify still works on it the speakers on it are still amazing <laughs> What else you can do? Well, if you want to game a little bit, who said you can't? So for example, you have the original Far Cry. Bro. Oh, I don't have any bullets. What the? How do I take this? Healing. Put this one as well. So, new game. Select, continue, and how you can see it's loading pretty goddamn fast. So here is where I have to buy. So let's see, if I can't see it of the camera. Do I have any money? Yes. Buy. And here I am, I'm playing Euro Truck Simulator. Being with a truck, you know, it drives different than a car, so I don't know how to drive. But I'm literally playing with no lag, no problem. Yeah, the resolution is not the best, but you know, it's playable. It's 2017, but yeah, 2017. Sorry. Whoa. Okay, I didn't know. Let's try, let's press M, so here I can see a map, and here I can see a building, so let's try going, a uh, building, a company, sorry. Oh, almost made an accident there, but who cares, I'm going for a job. You know, how you can see, a, li a little bit of stuttered, like half a second there. You know, but it's still the game is playable. I pursue, yeah, let's let's just press center, whatever you want, just give me a race. Okay, never mind. Race. So this is the gaming section. After this we're going to go to the browsing section. Because the, the browsing section is a little bit different, but it still works perfectly. And it's going to be a shock at the end. Need for speed, hot pursuit. Let's go to some browsing. So in browsing we have 
a little bit of a situation. So we have Safari, right? With Safari at the moment, it's, it's, it's good, but it's kind of not good. So how you can see, it's taking a little bit to load. It's going to be the same, same problem with everything. So when you're going on YouTube, for example, taking its time. Safari is very very slow because Safari is out of date. So at the moment it's kinda unusable. So that's why I do use Safari. I literally put it down. So let's close it. Ignore. Let's completely close it. And here is here is where you have to wait a little bit. So opening a browser Google Chrome would be your best shot at the moment because Google Chrome still supports all the latest things and stuff like that. Yes, it cannot be updated, but you can do almost every single thing that you're doing with a normal computer. So how you can see, you get, there is no future updates for this. You need Mac OS 10.13, I'm on 10.11 El Capitan. But if I'm going to YouTube, I can see. So now I'm on my channel, YouTube, right? So let's see Pearl Desktops, how to get it for free. It's one of my top videos on the channel. Uh, but this one doesn't have the best quality. So back then I didn't record. Let's use this one. So we're making a full screen. And then we can go, my videos are 1080p. I don't do 4K at the moment because I don't have the power to do 4K. But 1080p content, literally no lag. Literally there is no lag. So you can watch YouTube videos without any problem. You can do your basic stuff, you can read your emails, you can send, you can download. You can even do some uh, small, uh, really small, really limited uh, video editing using iMovie. So the difference is, iMovie, keep in mind, this version back then does not support 4K, but it will support 1080p. Okay, so you can add titles. If you want to add uh, titles, you can add some titles. The problem is, until they load. So the first load, it's always the longest one. So don't panic, just wait. So let's use this title. Let's put it over here. And then this one. And here you will see what I mean by adding a lot, a lot of uh, effects on it. Let's put it over here. And this one. Let's put it over here. So keep in mind, this is 1080p. So how you can see, I literally added like what? Three effects and then let's see, hey, go back. Let's see how it performs. So how you can see when the titles appear, there's a little bit of lag, right? And now because I added the titles, there's a lag continuously until it loads a little bit and then it goes. So it's, you can still do video editing, not probably not as the thing that you want, you know, using big transition and stuff like that, but you can still do some video editing. For example, let's add a transition. Simple transition over here, let's hit play. We have the title appearing so it's slowing us down it's slowing down the computer and then that's it so you can add all kind of things and stuff like that now let's see so we got here three minutes and 29 so let's try to export it as a file so like this you guys have an idea it doesn't even let me export it as a 1080p that's that's Okay, let's put it faster. Let's put best quality. So best quality, this is a test. Oh 
going to put it to our desktop. Save. So keep in mind, we're exporting right now a 720p with three effects, two transitions, and then just simply the video repeating itself and it takes three minutes and 29 seconds for this video. Now what it does, you can see here on the top what it's, what it's doing right now. Okay, so it's finished. Now let's see our work. So we can close it down. Keep in mind, you're working with a old computer, so it's going to be a little bit of lag when you open and close stuff, but still, it does its job. So it's go, going to open with Quick Player. Now I will recommend you guys using VLC, but it's up to you. And here it is, the video. When it's rendered, there is no lag, it's literally working perfectly. Literally perfectly. So yeah, now, the other thing that I am shocked about. So using Chrome, you can log in to Xbox Cloud Gaming. So originally you will need an Xbox 360 controller because the Mac OS doesn't support the Xbox One controller. But there is a workaround with this one. So you will need a cable, so USB-C to USB, which I have over here. I'm going to move a little bit so I can put the display and now take an Xbox One controller. So the moment I put the cable here, you will feel a vibration of the controller, but if I press it doesn't work. So you have to put it and then you power up the controller and it still doesn't work. See? So th th this is the trick. The problem is you have to Take it, make sure the, the controller is power on, plug it again, and now it's working. So be careful because if you're an Xbox fan, you know if you turn on the controller, it will literally turn on the, the console. So that's why I plugged it in, I turn on the controller, and then I unplug it and put it back in. How you can see? <laughs> literally no lag on a $20 computer iMac. Welcome back. Uh. I press, put a sound down because, and I'm playing, I am literally playing Forza Horizon 5, the problem is that I'm not good at this game, on a $20 computer, this is madness, literally no lag, how, how mad, well, I'm literally how mad is this on a $20 computer? So I have to, to say well done to Apple and to Microsoft for optimizing the cloud service so well. But being able to play all these games on a $20 computer, it's amazingly, amazingly surprising, especially, you know, 2007 made. So yeah, this is it. So you can literally game on this without any problem. Stuff like that everything is fine everything works fine so if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe like and i will see you guys in the next one and i crash <laughs>